Water can be found almost everywhere in nature. Most of the Earth's surface is oceans and lakes. The North and South Poles are covered in ice and snow, which is frozen water. In places called swamps, the land is always wet. But some places don't have very much water. We live in one of those places. The water we use begins as rain and snow. Water that runs off into the streams, rivers, and lakes is known as surface water because it is found on the surface. Water that soaks into the rocky or sandy soil underground is called groundwater. Much of Arizona is a desert where there isn't much rain, so water is harder to get. Here, we use both groundwater and surface water. To get groundwater, we must dig wells and pump the water up through pipes. As more people move to Arizona, we need more water, so we have to dig deeper and deeper wells. We also use surface water, which comes from nearby rivers, like the Salt River, the Gila River, and the Verde River. We also get water from the Colorado River, which is pretty far from Phoenix and Tucson. These rivers begin in the mountains with the rain and snow that falls there. We can learn a lot from the people who lived in Arizona before us. People called the Hohokam lived here a very long time ago. They dug canals to bring water from the Salt River to their crops. When white settlers came here over a hundred years ago, the Hohokam had already been gone a long time, but their canals were still here. So the early settlers used some of the same canals to bring water to their farms and ranches. Sometimes there wasn't enough rain or snow in the mountains and the rivers dried up. Other times there was so much water that the rivers flooded, so the farmers and the ranchers got together and built dams. Dams hold rivers back when there is enough rain and snowfall. Lakes behind dams store water we can use when there isn't enough rain. That's how we can have water all year round. In Tucson, the rivers weren't big enough to dam, so people there had to keep digging wells and pumping groundwater. To bring even more water to our cities, towns, reservations, and farms, the Central Arizona Project Canal was built to carry Colorado River water across the state to central and southern Arizona. This canal took many years of planning and 20 years to build. The CAP Canal is very big and over 300 miles long. Huge pumps have to lift the water up 900 feet so it can flow all the way to Phoenix and Tucson. These pumps need so much electricity that a big generating plant had to be built. All surface water and some groundwater has to be filtered and cleaned before we can drink it. In some places, filtered and cleaned surface water is mixed with groundwater to make drinking water. So you see, because we live in the desert, water is very hard to get. But since we can't live without water, we dig deep wells, build huge dams and lakes, long canals, electricity generators, and big water filtration plants just to make sure we always have water when we turn on the tap. That's why we shouldn't waste it. There are plenty of ways that we can use and enjoy water while not wasting it. If you remember to use these tips, you will be helping us to save water so there will be enough for everybody. When it's hot outside, it's fun to play in the sprinklers. A good time to do that is when your lawn needs water. That way you can have fun while the grass, trees, and flowers get the water they need. But too much water isn't healthy for grass and flowers. Ask an adult how long the lawn should be watered. You can save water by not letting it fall on the driveways and sidewalks. If a sprinkler is missing or sprays water where it doesn't belong, tell mom or dad about it. And make sure to turn the hose off when you're done. When you are playing in the pool, try not to splash or spray water on the deck. You can save a lot of water indoors too. Ask your mom or dad to fill a pitcher with tap water to keep in the refrigerator. When you want a drink, use that water instead of running the tap. If you can't finish the glass, save it in the refrigerator for later. Don't pour it down the drain. Don't let water run while you brush your teeth. Leave it off and rinse with water from a glass or cup. 
When you wash your hands, put a little water in the sink, then turn the water off. Use the water in the sink to rinse. If you like to take showers, keep them short. Ask your mom or dad to time you. Set a five minute limit. If you like to take baths, don't fill the tub more than a few inches, maybe just above your ankles. That's plenty. Here are some things you can do if you help with chores. Don't keep the water running while you are washing dishes. Wash the dishes, then rinse them in the sink full of clean water. If you use a dishwasher, just scrape the dishes clean before you put them in, and wait until the dishwasher is full before you run it. If you help by washing clothes, wait until you have a full load. Ask your mom or dad how to adjust the water level so it's just right. If you help outside, use a broom to sweep the patio, sidewalk, or driveway instead of spraying with water. If you help wash the car, do it very early in the morning or late in the afternoon when the sun is low and use a spray nozzle that shuts off the water when you're not using it. Here's another way you can help save water. If you see a faucet around the house that drips even when you turn it off or a toilet that keeps running, remind mom or dad to fix them. They can waste a lot of water. Did you count the tips? Let's review them. Play in sprinklers only with permission to water the lawn. Tell mom or dad about the sprinklers that put water where it isn't wanted. Run the sprinklers only enough to keep the grass and flowers healthy. Turn off the hose when you're done. Keep water from splashing out of the pool when you play. Keep water for drinking in the refrigerator. If you can't finish a glass of water, save it for later. Turn water off while you brush your teeth, wash your hands or dishes. When you shower, keep it under five minutes. Use less water when you take a bath. Scrape dishes clean instead of rinsing them before you put them in the dishwasher. Wash clothes only when you have a full load. Use a broom to clean the patio or driveway. Wash the car when the sun is low. Use a spray nozzle that shuts water off when you're not using it. Remind mom or dad to fix leaky faucets or toilets. Water is important to all living things, plants, animals, and people. And because we live in a place where water is harder to get, we have to be smarter about how we use it. If we all try to save water and not waste it, there will be plenty for everybody for a long time to come.